What's up everyone tech cloud here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your uh, Titan X Pascal in terms of the temperature how to run the card cooler and uh, how to get uh, more frame rates and uh, how to get uh, better clock speed without overclocking at the moment as you can see I'm running two Titan X Pascal in SLI and as I started the game the temperature start to increase and the clock speed was uh, at the beginning around 17 74 or something like that but as the temperature is increasing the clock speed is coming down i know it is not a thermal throttling but uh, it is a gpu boost since the card is already giving you a clock speed higher than the specs so you cannot say it is a thermal throttle but the temperature does affect the performance and as you can see the clocks are not very steady all the time and they are changing with the every second and also they are coming down because of the temperature as the temperature hit 84 85 degree you can see it is now close to 14 and 1500 megahertz so that's actually pretty low clock speed and i don't want to see that since uh, the titan x pascals are pretty expensive and uh, if you have spent that kind of money on two cards you want excellent performance so what is the solution one solution is to water cool your uh, graphics card and i have uh, actually ordered the water blocks for my titan x pascals and i will uh, going to water cool them but uh, in the meanwhile i can actually improve the performance without even overclocking i can uh, increase the fan speed yes it will increase the noise also but uh, hopefully during the game it will not be as annoying because of the game audio but it will still be audible that's for sure but it will improve the gaming performance a lot now here you can see i'm running uh, two instants of the game side by side the right one is using a custom fan curve and at the moment the fan is running in the 90s 90% 90 or 95% somewhere around that mark and on the left hand side it is the default fan curve as you can see on the right side instance of the game the clocks are now much more steady and uh, also the cards are running cooler and i'm getting more fps from the same cards <laughs> No bread, no coin, or the shite. This is scandalous. Oh. You oh, kicked us off the day. The fruit on my cards running. Right on my back. Mutant. Now let's also try the GTA 5. As you can see, I have put everything on max, even the anti-aliasing and the grass quality, everything is totally maxed out. And at the moment, right hand side version is using the custom fan curve and the left hand side is using the default fan curve. Actually, it is difficult to replicate the same thing with the GTA 5 because there are a lot of variations such as traffic, weather and all that. But uh, hopefully it will give you some indication that using a custom fan curve does improve the clock speeds the frames per second and also the card runs cooler on top of that if you are actually willing to overclock your uh, cards then you can squeeze out more uh, fps 
at uh, higher clock speeds but of course in that case the temperature will be little bit more but uh, I don't care that much about the temperature if the performance is little bit better because the card is actually designed to run around 84 85 degrees centigrade and the components can uh, sustain 95 degrees celsius without any issues so guys uh, this was the small demo how you can improve the gaming performance using the nvidia cards even without overclocking just by using the custom fan curve i hope that you have liked the video thanks for watching take care bye